Jean Steen is going to look at a lot of those domestic scenes that we've already seen from artists like Vermeer, but he's going to put his own moralistic elements on it. He's going to give us metaphor for adult behavior as much as anything else, and he's going to create the Feast of St. Nicholas. So what you're seeing is what would typically be a calm Dutch household that St. Nicholas has just visited. And you can imagine that the atmosphere is one that is particularly festive and anything but calm. We see some children are excited, some disappointed. We get a sense of selfishness, festivity, the adults taking part and remembering that childlike element that exists in the back of all of our minds, remembering the Christmases or visits by St. Nicholas that we had as a child. As we look a little bit deeper, we have this little girl in the center. She seems incredibly content with this doll that she's received and a bucket of other small trinkets and goods. You can imagine how happy she is. In contrast, the artist has juxtaposed this young man who has just received a birch stick because basically he's misbehaved during the year and that's going to be important. It's basically uh, gives us a sense of who he is. And here we see that stick in the shoe where the other gifts should have been. It's their equivalent of giving coal. So while we see children who are delighted and others who are disappointed because of the birch rod, we see an appropriately festive atmosphere which reigns and contrasts sharply with the decorum which prevailed in Vermeer's work. Like the paintings of other Dutch artists, Stein's lively scenes often took on an allegorical dimension and moralistic tone. Here, basically saying that children need to behave, that children should be happy with what they get, that life is sometimes unfair and unpredictable. He frequently uses children's activities as a satirical comment on the foolishness of adult behavior. And this is not his only allusion to selfishness, pettiness, and jealousy. This is meant to speak to adults as much as it is meant to speak to children. And he's using a universal language that everyone at the time would understand. It's taking class, or sorry, it's taking effect in a typical middle class home. It has all the accoutrements that you would expect in that home. It's basically set up to be as relatable as possible. Let me also point out that this is the Feast of St. Nicholas depicted in secular terms. There is no religiosity here. There are no crosses. They're not going to mass. They're not looking at an image of the nativity. Rather, we're seeing the very secular activity of opening the gifts and playing with them that very first time, the five minutes after the gifts have been given. <laughs> 